guys welcome back to the channel today this will be for scorpio scorpio this is going to be your singles read happy monday you guys happy monday so let's just jump right into it i feel like the weekend has been <laughs> very long and this is the first time i can say that i felt like this weekend was dragging and finally we're in this new week and let's just see what the angels have for us i hope everyone feels the same way you know feels excited to see what messages we're going to have for you today single so if this does resonate remember to like the video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have your playlist linked below in the description box and also guys go over to the instagram if you want to support the cause as soon as we hit the 5k mark on the instagram we're definitely starting those free personal readings over there that will be linked below. And the GoFundMe, you guys, are going to be up until Friday. Friday will be the last day for my friend. If you want to donate um, regarding his funeral causes and everything like that with the family. I talked to them yesterday and that was what they wanted. So, yeah, so let me, let, well, just donate if you can. And, um, yeah, the link should be in the um, comment pinned or also in the description box as well okay all right so let's get into it <clears throat> to see the messages for singles for scorpio thank you angels what's the message for single scorpios today what do we have for scorpios wow so the five of cups Oof. Scorpios, you know, singles, you're having a hard time. Look at this, you know, I just feel like there's so many things that you're going through every day. So many, you know, transformations that you're going through every day. So many things being discovered every day. And I feel like a lot of you, which are in the past about something that people lied about or people are keeping from you, is going to come to the surface anyway. Because I'm seeing you actually trying to distance yourself from that situation and then finding out a lot of, you know, details about this situation. So you're going to have to make a decision when that comes around. But I'm also seeing that you're going to be healing. You're going to be looking at all the things, <coughs> excuse me, that happened in the past. All the things that happened in your present and see what you want to continue to invest your energy in um and i feel like you're closing a lot of doors to things that does does not work for you anymore does not make sense for you anymore and you're trying to just like live a real positive life you know you're really really looking at things in a different light you do have this energy around you where it could be lazy okay this person could also be negative this person could also try to you know um do what you do or be better at what you do um you know this person could be stealing your ideas you know they're just that i'm getting like this person around you is someone that doesn't work for it you know they're living off of other people ideas money dreams goals <laughs> to experience some kind of luxury life you know and just be careful with that energy i'm definitely feeling like you are overwhelmed with a lot of people in your life emotionally and this is something that you're disappointed about um there is this huge regret that is happening within you um because you gave these people your time you invested you really have some kind of emotional connection with these people as well and i feel like everyone in your life with this five of cups here you gave a chance to and they kind of dis disappointed you you know they didn't come back to where you kind of feel alone in this world as well you know it's just feeling alone like you just can't find that fulfillment in this world and now it's like these are the the energies that you have you know all in reverse kind of overwhelmed with these choices that you have made and you know not everybody has a good face some of them are good some of them are not but i feel like either way none of them are giving you the love and affection that you need from a relationship at least the one the, the relationship that you're looking for um scorpio i'm also seeing virgo so you could be dealing with a virgo 
a Sag, a Libra. Okay. I do see an element of Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. We have Sag here in the Temperance. So again, choosing yourself, making yourself number one here because there are so many disappointments when it comes to giving people chances. That's just what I'm saying. I'm drinking my tea, you guys, so I'm just sipping on that. And I'm definitely seeing like this moment of like going back and forth within your mind about your decisions and not trusting yourself. But this is going to be short-lived. This is what I'm seeing here. You're not going to be in this energy for long. You know, I'm seeing like you're going to be taking yourself out of this, this element. And I'm also seeing that, you know, the lies and betrayal that this energy have brought into your life where you, you're finding out the truth or things are being brought up to the surface, you are going to be rewarded for this, you know, because you are being treated unfairly here in Libra. There is no balance within this relationship. And I'm also seeing like the, the nine of wands in reverse, like you're very tired of this energy. You're tired of this situation. You want a change here. And you, this person wants to keep at it, keep fighting, you know, this energy that I'm seeing is like constantly like, okay, put you through something and then they want to keep fighting this, being unjust to you, being unfair to you, lying to you, leave, keeping the truth from you, you know, not making you feel first in your life. And then I'm seeing this Knight of Wands, this person doesn't have any confidence with them in themselves. So of course, they're not having confidence within this relationship, you know? They're having this struggle with this image, with its maturity or trying to be mature when it comes to you. They don't know how to do this, how to feel about this. They're staying very still when it comes to the passion and determination of making things work with you. And I'm feeling like it's just ironic because your their their energy is like this, but yet they're like always open to trying or staying in this relationship and fighting for something. Like, they don't want to give up, but you are burned out and tired. You've been protecting this person in this relationship for a very long time, you guys. And you're just like, okay, I don't have anything else to give emotionally, mentally, physically, you know? So, let's keep going here. Okay. Ooh, you have the Queen of Swords. Wow. So we have Leo energy, also Cancer, and on the back of the deck, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> so a lot of jealousy here that's coming up, a lot of, you know, manipulation, coldness, sternness, cutting you off when you speak. Um, you know, this person is very strong when it comes to their actions, but it's coming off in a negative way, like if they don't care, Okay. And so you're putting your feet down by not speaking to this person because your emotions are all over the place and you kind of like know this. And this is because you like them, you know, you like them a lot. You care about them. You wanted this to work, but you know, you don't trust yourself in making these decisions and the angels want you to trust your intuition. But this is a process of you healing because I'm seeing you putting yourself first and trying to like look at everything that, that happened here. Okay. Okay. The strength, look at this, with the high priestess next to it. It's like the angels want you to know that you are strong enough to control yourself. You know, you're strong enough, so don't think you're not. This person is not the one that you want or you know, ask for. It's like they were appearing to be your empress, but they were always in reverse. So they kind of had a mask on. And they, you know, this person makes all the wrong decisions. That's another thing that I'm getting, you know. In Virgo, like they make all the wrong decisions and they think they make all the right ones, but it's wrong. But I'm seeing a fast paced movement here from this person. I'm seeing like messages are coming to you, like they're rushing to you because you're, 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 you're realizing the truth here. You know, you're trying to distance yourself from this person with the queen of swords, you know, protect your power in a way. Um, and you're just not ready to speak to this person, you know? And they don't like that. They like to have the power. They like to have the power over you in the Queen of Swords. You know, this is a very powerful card and it's in reverse. So it's like you're just not ready to talk to them right now. 
So let's see what's on the back of the deck in the future. <clears throat> wow, this is five. Well, we see a huge apology coming towards you. This is what you don't see, by the way. This is the future. So you have the Knight of Swords, but what follows that after that is the Five of Wands. And then you have the, the Ace of Cups. Okay, I'm not going to go any further in reverse. So this is like, they have this, they're trying, but it's just not enough. Not enough to keep you guys together, okay? And you're trying so hard. But it's just not clicking. This is what I'm seeing. So you're kind of over this in the future. I see a distance between you and this person. And this is when they come around. I feel like they don't come around when you need them. When they need to solve something. It's like the energy is too heavy. So they stay away. And then they just come and act like nothing ever happens. But when they come in. You're on the verge of tying everything up. For those of you who live together. Um, who are dealing with this energy. Um, you're tying everything up, you know, if this is a family situation, you're just like getting over this, you're not doing, you're, you're paying your bills, you're, you're just getting over this bank, you know, this, this hill of a struggle and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. This is when this person comes and apologize after, you know, keeping you restricted um, and trying not to have you find out anything about certain things. I feel like when you want you ask this person the truth or you want some kind of answers from this person they tend to backslide or hide things from you because it's all about restriction here it's all about controlling you having the control over you all right and keeping you in the dark about certain things and you know something is not right you feel kind of tied up like you want to get out but you can't like something is holding you back here as well because this person is actually planting these seeds and making you feel like something is going great, but it's actually not. So you're in your mind about certain things, you know, even in the future here. So be very careful with your mental state, your mental state and be very careful with your energy. This is what I have for you singles. I hope that it resonates and also be careful with your spending. All right. <clears throat> I'm seeing you like... Trying to correct that, but also be careful with that as well. So like the video if it resonates. If it doesn't, I will have the playlist linked below, like I said before. And also, guys, um, go over to Instagram if you want to support that. And definitely go to the GoFundMe if you want to support. Thank you for everyone that supported last night, that gave last night on the GoFundMe. So I really, really appreciate that. The family appreciate that. We talked last night and, um, you know, they really appreciate everything that you guys have done. So thank you. Um, love you guys and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.